Hello. Puberty. You all remember puberty. You got acne, you, your legs and your arms are growing at different rates, your voice is cracking, things aren't necessarily what you expect and you don't really know what to do next because everything is different and you don't know how your body is gonna handle it. Hi, I'm Michael Perklin. I'm the chairman of the board of C4, the Cryptocurrency Certification Consortium. And I'm here to talk to you about puberty. We all look at industries today and we see how, how established they are. Uh, we, we see you know, factories, they have all of these, uh, th these things already built. Uh, they have all these processes, all these, uh, uh, everything is established for them. But they didn't start out that way. When that industry started, whether it's the automotive industry, the, uh, uh, the airline industry, they started out a lot smaller and they had to figure out how to, how to move forward and, and do it all for the first time. Now, if you were to start a car today, if, if you wanted to build your own car, you would actually have a pretty good roadmap thanks to all of the, the rules and regulations for building cars. Uh, you know that you'll have to put seatbelts in there. You, you know that your, your, your car chassis will need to withstand so many units of force and uh, all the different tests that you'll have to pass before you can get your car to market. It's almost like a roadmap for exactly what to do to, to launch your car. If you were gonna build a payment card, you wanna launch your own credit card, well, there's an entire body of standards called the Payment Card Industry Standard, the PCI standard, that gives you a roadmap for what you need to do to encrypt your uh, uh, customer information, how to store it, and, and how to interact with the rest of the banking industry to have your credit card work. But what we're doing here, what, what all these builders are doing here at, on, uh, at uh, Futurist and beyond, we're figuring it out our own way. In the early days of any industry, there are the pioneers, the people like you and me who are measuring things, cataloging things, trying to figure out what is working, and failing, failure after failure after failure, you learn lesson after lesson and after lesson. And these pioneers in that industry, they document everything that they are doing to come up with tools that make it easier for the rest of us to build what we want to build. No longer do we have to worry about all the minutia that the generations before us figured out. We can now use the tools that have been built to move our ideas farther, faster, better, stronger. In our industry, we have the cryptocurrency security standard. This is a standard that has been curated now for the last eight years that outlines everything you should be doing in order to keep your funds secure. Or if you're holding a bunch of your customers' funds, what you should be doing to keep your customers' funds secure. It has 32 controls, 32 things that you need to be making sure that you are doing. This is like a guidebook for how to secure a system, and it also works like a measuring stick, like a giant ruler you can put next to whatever it is that you are building and see just how secure the thing you're building really is. How many of these 32 controls are you actually hitting when you're building whatever it is that you are building? Now, you may not necessarily have the time or the inclination to go through all 32 things, so you would rather use a service provider, like Fireblocks, for example. Um, now, the standard accounts for this in a, in a program that we call Qualified Service Providers, or QSPs. If your, if your service provider is taking care of 26 of these things, like as can be seen here in, in the slide behind me, all you have to worry about is, is the, the, the rest of it. Out of these 32 things, you may only need to worry about four or five things. And these are the ones that your service provider can't do for you. For example, uh, when you create your own key and you need to back up your own key, your service provider can't do that for you because that's your key, not theirs. Uh, so this allows you to focus only on the things that you truly need to do while leveraging the security of whatever service provider that you're using so that 
they can handle everything else. Now, the, the CCSS covers everything about an information system. We, we are often focused so much on the technology we use, the, the hardware in our hand, or the, the wallet software that we're running on our phone, that we forget that a full information system is more than just the hardware and the software. It's also the policies that outline uh, how things should be working, the procedures that your staff are following to get those things done, and of course, the personnel. For without them doing the right things at the right time with the proper training, the whole system would likely fall apart. And like any chain in the world of security, it's only as strong as the weakest link. And if one of those, if any one of those 32 pieces are insufficient, you're probably not going to be as secure as you think you are. So this is what the cryptocurrency security standard covers. I encourage you to scan the QR code behind me to learn more. It's an open source, free standard for anyone to read and to use as a measuring stick for whatever it is that you're building. And if you are using someone else's system, let's say you are, are, are curious about using Fireblocks and you're not sure, should I trust them with, with my money? You can use this measuring stick to grade them as well. Take a look at their CCSS score. Uh, auditors have gone into uh, systems like this and have reviewed all 32 of these controls and have given a score to Fireblocks as a qualified service provider. So this measuring stick can make your life easy, and I think it's something that we should all demand of all of the services we use to tell us how they stack up against the cryptocurrency security standard. Let's not go through puberty alone. Let's use these standards to grow together. Thank you very much. I'm Michael Parkland. Thank you, Michael Parkland of C4.